how to set up your Reloom style guide in Webflow to keep your project organized and make global changes a breeze. Let's start by duplicating a copy of a Reloom style guide clonable. This is your Webflow starter project for every project. It's built and maintained by our team to beautifully sync with all things Reloom. Navigate to the style guide page and this is where you'll find the base styles and structure classes all built with FinSuite's client first naming system. Let's start with colors. We want to add all the colors for your project into the variables panel. Brand colors. This is for all the major color values that will be found throughout your entire project. Neutral colors. These are often used for the elements such as backgrounds, borders and shadows often more like the canvas for supporting the brand colors. Lastly, system colors. These are used for elements such as success, error, and warning states. Navigating to typography, let's update the main body tag first. We wanna choose your font, typography color, and we can even choose the main background color here so your project inherits these main fonts and color values. Next, style your heading HTML tags and heading CSS classes exactly the same. This can be super handy when what's important for website visitors to see and what's important for search engines to read might be different. All typography comes with default styling for desktop, tablet and mobile, but it's worth double checking they're on point with your design. Style any remaining HTML tags and text sizes, weights, and remaining styles, you can simply tweak the values to match your design if needed. When it comes to rich text, commonly used in blogs and long form content sections can be specifically styled for those use cases if you need that level of control. Now background colors and text colors we've already added to variables, but if you want to see them displayed in your style guide, you can simply copy these, duplicate the class, rename the label and link them to your color variables. Lastly, updating our UI elements. Updating our buttons and forms, color, radius, borders, size and states. That includes hover, pressed, focused, placeholder, and let's not forget our success and error states. Icons come in the form of images and SVGs, and then we have our structure classes, which ideally don't need to be touched. To learn more about the choice of structure and styling classes we've just been through, check out FinSuite's documentation on client first. Now our project is set up for success. We have all of our styles added and we are now ready to learn how to seamlessly import from Reloom into Webflow.